Given your moral established, what's the best piece of career advice you were ever given? I have this wonderful friend, curator, one time told me, you know, I was starting to do work and she really appreciated what I was doing, but she said, Jennifer, to the ravine. See the cliff and dive off. No reservations. You have to love what you do. You have to have that passion, that drive that cannot be replaced. Um, that's just in you. When you wake up in the morning, um, that's the first thing that comes to your mind. You know, what you went to bed with, it, it's right there in the forefront and you have to really want it. I think that's the most important thing. Everything else is easy. If you don't love what you do, with these grueling hours and really intense uh, pressure a lot of times and crazy travel schedules, it's not sustainable. But it's, if you believe in what you do and if you love it, then you make time for it. Even when you're washing dishes or doing something simple like that, it could be a meditative moment where ideas sink in, they resurface, you um, really let that work through you. For me, Performer 13, I'm doing this residency. I'm there for eight days, and I'm kind of lifting the curtain of this mystery of what it is to make an opera. The set piece, of course, is a smaller set piece. I'm making it in front of the audience from finish to end. We're doing rehearsals. We've done four or five different rehearsals uh, leading up to the final. That's all open to the public, and of course, the final short piece will be representing. So I don't think of it so much as performance in the traditional sense of performance art. I think of it as experiential art, so that it's not something an object you look look at. But the audience have an experience with the art and the artwork and the artists and everyone that's involved. I really believe that art is not an object on the wall. Art is something that happens inside of human being when you experience that work. Whether it's an object, it's experience, it's an opera you hear, or a performance you see, a dance you see. It has to happen inside of you. And if you don't allow uh, experiments or even mistakes to happen, then you don't have that trans transcendent experience. So I think what they do is really invaluable for the city. And sometimes working with scientists, with uh, people with really understand technology, it's, it's good just to understand what's going on. They, they're very passionate about what they're doing, but something in their methodology and the way of thinking conceptually is very beautiful and in sync with art. And these are things I try to be like, oh, well, I'm trying to do this very similarly. Why don't we team up and do create something else. And that's why I find really interesting the collaboration. Not just, I want to do this, can you help me make it happen? But rather, what are you doing? Oh, this is what I'm thinking. And you make a new baby.